What's going on guys? Welcome back to Diablo 3 Season 8. Hopefully today we make it to 70. Uh, I mean that's at least our goal, so... I'm gonna do a couple rifts and hopefully that gets us to 70. If not, uh, we may just have to do a few more, you know, just kill a few more enemies within the second rift. Hopefully though, you know, the plan here is to get to 70 in two rifts, but, you know, we will see. So how are you guys doing this fine day? Quite well myself, but... really like to get some more stuff done in Diablo, so we're just going to see if, you know, hopefully get to 70 here, I mean, that's, it's going to be our goal here. Oh good. Watch out for the frozen. So, um, you know, I'm a bit of a, a large, you know, uh, nerd here. Uh, do a lot of video gaming. Uh, if I had the chance to play Dungeons and Dragons, I would. I'd play, you know, Magic the Gathering and all that stuff. Uh, all that stuff's really exciting. Um, a lot of fun. Sci-fi movies. Fantasy. You know, all that stuff. Uh, and I also, uh, you know, try to watch wrestling when it's on. Not, not follow it, like, hugely. <clears throat> you know, I might get home from work, put Skyrim, you know, start playing some Skyrim or something, and open up Hulu and watch, you know, watch some wrestling on Hulu. Well, Let me tell you, on SmackDown, which uh, for, you, for those of you who don't know, is a WWE program that's on Tuesday nights, there is a gentleman named James Ellsworth, who, this guy is, he is living his dream, let me tell you. He, he's a professional wrestler, but he's like... You know, he, he has his own little business, he does, you know, a handful of shows a year, this and that. You know, wanted to be in the WWE growing up and whatnot. And he... Showed up to be a, uh, just like a supplemental talent. You know, for uh, a SmackDown, and this guy... I don't know what it is about him. The crowd loves him. He's, you know, he's got good charisma, you know. But um, he just doesn't look like a wrestler, you know. He's got this odd, odd look to him. Look him up on Google, James Ellsworth. You'll see. You know, he looks, he looks a bit strange. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, does not look like a wrestler, obviously. But man, this guy is living his dream. He went after his dream. He, you know, being a wrestler, and he... He made it, you know? And it's just fantastic to see him every week. Not that he's like a big part of the show or anything, but... Uh, you know, he comes out, people love it. Man. 
Good for him, you know. Good for him. Unbelievable. You got you gotta look this guy up. He is just Yeah. It's hard to explain, you know. He's just doing his thing and loving it. And uh yeah, you know. Something everyone should aspire to do, you know, just do your thing, whatever that may be. Uh, you know? Do it to the best of your ability. And don't let anyone, you know, try to stop you from doing what you want to do. Live life to its fullest. And, you know? And that's what I'm doing, you know? That's what I'm trying to do as well. You know, I'm not going to let anyone tell me to stop making YouTube videos. I'm just going to, you know, have fun doing it. Gonna play Diablo. And you know, whatever whatever other game I feel like playing at the time and Wow that that was a little ridiculous guys. You know, you had Frozen and then on top of the Frozen But yeah, I'm just you know, just do your do your thing, guys. Just you know Keep on keeping on if you will. Is this like it? Is there a, a, ah, okay, here we go. But yeah, that's where I wanted to go with it, you know, like, this guy doesn't look anything. Like, he should not be professional wrestler as far as, you know, professional wrestlers are concerned. But he's doing his thing. He, he kept trying and he kept working at it and here he is having the time of his life. He probably can't believe, you know, what's going on. And he is loving every second of it. And I say good for him. And, you know, that's what we got to do. Just got to keep your head up. And do what you want to do. You know, right now I want to get to level 70. What is that electricity? I'm missing something. What am I missing? What is this thing? No. Not the puzzle, right? It's not the boots. I don't know, I'm missing something there. Not that it's really a big deal, but... Man, that first floor was fantastic, and now... Of course. This will help though. Well. Do I still have I still have some conduit, so we're gonna head down and Conduits up, so we're gonna head back to town. And turn this in. Now, unfortunately, I need to go back. we're gonna need um, a bit of XP from this rift, or we're gonna need a really good next one because that's gonna be cutting it close to leveling up, real close. Bonus pool remaining, 9 million, but I need, a little confused, but. Let's just check in, see in, look at that, huh? I can unequip the puzzle ring. Jam that bad boy over there. All right, let's go break this shit down real quick. Now this puzzle ring will let me go to the goblin room. So I think even regardless, uh, you know, whether or not I hit 70 or not, 
I might just go to the puzzle realm with that ring. I mean, man, it is a lot nicer if you can hold on to it for a little while. That is true, but, you know, what are you supposed to do? Yes, excellent. A nice low population rift, my favorite. Attack speed with this build. I've I've decided attack speed is would be important for this build because the more I hit with the whirlwind, if I'm gonna keep on that uh, exploding whatever the hell scur the scourge I believe is called, if I'm gonna keep that on. The more hits I do, the more often it'll explode. The more often it explodes, the more damage I do. I mean, the XP seems to be okay in this rift. Um, you know, it's always about the types of enemies. I just wish there was more elites to fight. That's so awesome. Well, there's our first elite. Unfortunately, one elite's not gonna get us there fast enough. But it is nice, large enemy. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of you know, larger enemies. So, while it's not a fast rift necessarily, it's still gonna get the job done. But if we do find the way down, then maybe. Oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. Excellent. The more, the better. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be a dead end. Thanks. Thanks, Blizzard. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, it's going to be disappointing when Obama leaves office and we can't say thanks, Obama, anymore. I suppose we can start saying thanks, Trump, you know. Thanks, Trump. Just doesn't have the same ring to it. Thanks, Obama, it just sounds way better. Oh well, I'm sure we'll come up with something for the Donald. Now 
Now, I'm not gonna get into politics, ever. That I plan on, at least. I'm just gonna say... Hopefully he does a good job, because... A lot of people are worried that he's not going to. So let's just hope he proves everyone wrong and does a fantastic job as president. But we do have to come up with something. You know? Something. We need something to say about, you know. I don't like that World One doesn't pull minions. So. I think we're gonna do it guys, I definitely think we're gonna hit 70. This is gonna bring me back though, fuck. Is it though? I hate some maps, you know, like no, it's a dead end. <laughs> All the dead ends, you know? I'm great at finding dead ends in this game. I'm just gonna say that. I don't know what it is. Um, I'll be playing with friends, you know? Especially back in a couple previous seasons we played, you know? And... I'd be like the first person to level up a character, so... I'd give them, you know, I'd give them all some rushes, and then they'd be following me around the map, and I'd find every dead end imaginable. Like, i just find them all. We'd go from one dead end to the next, and an item on my Steam wish list is on sale. That's what that noise usually means. Yeah, an item on my Steam wish list is on sale. Well, I say, should be spawning soon. Ooh, Warlash, huh? Get wrecked. Son. Get wrecked. Star Helm? I don't think I need that. Yeah, I don't need that. Okay. Set on back. Star Helm makes you look like Space Marine. From StarCraft. We did it! Forge Jewelry, level 70. Level 70. Forge item! Really? What the hell? Oh, okay. 
I forget. I always forget that I haven't been level 70 of a, a barbarian yet. Boom! We did it. Getting our getting our first two pieces of Immortal King. Sorry about that noise if you heard it. Apparently, um, my computer wants to yell at me. But oh, here we go, guys. See if we get ancient. Well, neither one's ancient. That's okay. Um, we're we're going to reroll increases hammer the ancient's damage to probably vitality, and the gloves. We're probably going to reroll the extra armor into something else. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us for today. Uh, I'm going to play around with this stuff. We're definitely going to be using a diamond in the helmet to cool down reduction. Uh, Immortal Kings uses a lot of Wrath of the Berserk Berserker. So, um, you kind of want to stay in Wrath of the Berserker forever. So, you you know, I'm going to be throwing a diamond for some CDR and uh, hoping that works out pretty good. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Next time, we're going to take a look at, at a look at the next seasonal journey and see what we need to do. So, thanks for watching and see you.